Hi, you are welcome to Halogenous Ideas. In this video, I will show you how to write HTML, CSS and JavaScript on Android device. So, um, the first thing you have to do is to go to your Play Store. So, you open your Play Store, search for Play Store. Then you look for an application, Quick Edit. So you install the application, you wait for it to install, you can see it's just 11 MB so it's very lightweight. You just have to wait a bit. Okay, it's done installing. So. It's done downloading rather, so we can wait for it to install. Okay. My phone does this security check normally every time you install a new application to ensure that the application doesn't contain any form of malware. So we just have to wait. Okay, open the application now. Okay, very good. So you allow um, access to all files. So if I click on OK, it will take me to my settings. So allow access to manage all files. It might be different for your own phone, but just get the gist. So this is an empty um, document that um, it is oh, it has opened by default so the first thing you want to do normally you click on this this uh, button over here so you can see all the menus we have if you want to browse your document for internal storage or I have a memory card on my phone so uh, what you would want to do normally is to click on this folder icon you can see the plus uh, sign to create another document you can see the open if you have a document on your device you want to open so you can see the savers, then you can see close. So um, let me write a dummy HTML document. So what you want to do is you want to say the doc type is HTML. So you close, then you come down, you open your HTML tag. then you close your html tag html closing the tag html okay so the next thing you want to do is to open the head session so head this is just me writing some dummy html code to show that it works then you come back, you close the head. You come back, you close the head. Okay. So in the head, let me just uh, uh, add a title to this HTML document. Say title. So HTML is not case sensitive, so I won't be penalized for for that. So that so. close this, then you can say testing HTML, CSS, and JS on Android. So let's just leave the head like that. So you come and open your body tag, body. Then you close your body tag, body. Close it, okay? So in this body tag now, let's have a text and a button. Say this paragraph. 
I open my tag, I have a P tag, then close it, open it again, close my P tag. I can just see this is a sample text. Okay, so let me create a button. I have to open the tag button, close the tag, open again, now button. Now the ID of this button should be equal to say btn btn okay so why this paragraph the id should be equal to text text Okay, so now we have the paragraph, we have the button, and we have the title. So, um, let's say this is a document that you've written. Now, let's save our document. For you to save it, to click on this button over here. You've not saved for the first time, so you have to save us. If you click on any of the two, save us or save, it will do the same thing for now because you're saving for the first time. It will open your file manager. So, you select where you want to save this document. So, this is my... This is my um, the root folder of my phone. I can just click on this. I can decide to create a folder. Then the name of the folder is going to be um, testing HTML or something. So okay. So this is the folder over here. So I can save it here. Save as. I can say first. Then don't forget it will be dot HTML. You save this okay so you can see all the coloring that it is giving me already you can see the coloring that is giving me already you might decide to save the document before you start writing your code at all so um for this particular tutorial i'm going to be doing inline javascript and inline uh, css but if you want to link an external file on the mobile all you have to do is to come here if this is a style sheet for example let's save it so save us um say and you can see first the CSS first dot CSS save so you can see the CSS over here now so let me just create another JavaScript a JavaScript file straight away so new then for this one I'll create a JavaScript file save as let me say first dot JS first so the extension is going to be dot js so you save it okay so now i have first the html first the css first the javascript okay so for now i haven't linked any any one with anyone so let's just save this then for you to run this particular document over here you can click on this play this play button over here so you can see that it is an empty page with this sample text over here then my button i didn't write anything in my button i didn't write any text in my button so this is one of the things you have to encounter close this one so let me see you can say change text color let me just use that for now. So if I should run this, you can see change text color. I can click on the button. You can feel the effect of me clicking on it. So, well, I wanted to do inline CSS and inline JavaScript initially, but let's just do everything the way it's supposed to be. So if I want to link my external style sheet, don't forget you can do internal styling, inline styling, or external styling. So to, to give more width to the tutorial, I'm going to be doing external styling. So let me say this text over here you can see the color is what 
uh, the normally just the black the default HTML color so ID text what I can do here is to change the I can say um, the ID I will select it using this then I say text I open my brackets I close it then come come here let me put a tab space and I say the color is what red or something so now if I can save this now you see that this CSS file is saved I come back to the HTML and link it just the same way you would do your styling so I'll use the link tag the link tag So the relationship is what style sheets. And the source, which is the SRC, will be equal to since they are in the same folder, I can just write it directly. Um, I'm trying to look for any keyboard, any keypad that you're using to do this thing. You have to be very comfortable using it. So, we'll say first dot CSS. So, use this. Okay. So, if I should run this, the color isn't changed. I made a mistake somewhere. I made a mistake somewhere. The color didn't change. There's something I'm missing. Okay, this should be href, not source. Href, okay. Should be href. So if I should run this. S T Y L E S H E E T H R F first the C S S Okay, I think I had a space there. Okay. The 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 color the, you can see the color changing now. So that is that is it. So you can see that the the C S S file uh, is linked to this one. But please don't forget, don't forget to save it. So, okay, now that it is saved, now that is the CSS working fine. So for the for you to bring in the JavaScript, all you have to do is very simple. Don't forget you are going to be having your script tag. Um, you open your script. You close your script. Then to come and say the SRC equal to don't forget you can say first dot JS. Okay, okay, first the JS. Now, what I want to configure actually is this BTN over here, this button over here. So, this is my JS file. Now, I can say let button equal to document dot get element by ID. So what is the ID? The ID is BTN. BTN. Close this. Close the brackets. And don't forget, we are going to be having a colon there. So let's button equal to document the get elements by ID. 
so I can say button button dot add event listener now what event do I want it to listen to it is the click event now for this click event what do I want it to do so I'll create a function and this function is going to be taking no parameters then now to write the body of the function I have to do this come to the next line go up then then the next thing I want to do is say okay let me select this text element over here this text element over here too so the text is get element by ID but that one will be text so let me just copy this select so copy come to the next line and paste so this one is going to be text okay this one is going to be text now you can say text dot style dot color equal to say green don't forget you have to close your brackets you know put your semicolon to close the line green so don't forget you have to save this so now it is saved I can come back to first the HTML save this one too now you run the program click on this plus over here you can see the program is running if I click on change text color you can see it is changing it to green you can see that the HTML file well wow. all these ads we have to deal with so you can see that the, this is the HTML file working fine, this is the CSS file working fine, and this is the JavaScript file working fine, and all of them, they are linked to this HTML file over here. So one other thing I want to show you before um, the tutorial ends is if you click on this play button over here, now you can see it is displaying the preview inside Quick Edit, but if you want to see what it will look like in Google Chrome or any other browser that you are using, you will see this browser icon towards the top right this browser icon over here so click on it you can see open with I have Firefox I have one DM plus browser and then I have Chrome anyone you want to open with so I can open with Chrome and it will open that same document it will open the local server on your phone then it will start it in Chrome so this is what it will look like in Chrome so if I click on change text color you can see the text color is changing to green so basically that is how you that is how you write um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in on Android. So, if you have any quick questions, please the comment section is open. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.